Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. I'm Akanksha from Psychologic. This video discusses the James Lang theory. This video is part of a series focused on the topic of emotions. If you like the content of this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. So let's get into it. Divya is desperate to get a job. She has prepared well for the interview and feels confident. As she enters the room and the interview begins, she becomes extremely tense. Her feet go cold. Her heart starts pounding and she is unable to answer appropriately. Why did this happen? Try thinking about a similar situation that you have faced sometime in your life. Can you describe probable reasons for this? As we will see, a great deal of physiological changes happen when we experience emotions. When we are excited, afraid or angry, these bodily changes might be relatively easy to note. All of you must have noted the increase in heart rate, throbbing temples, increased perspiration and trembling in your limbs when you are angry or excited about something. Sophisticated equipment has made it possible to measure the exact physiological changes that accompany emotions. Both the autonomic as well as the somatic nervous systems play important roles in the emotional process. The experience of emotions is a result of a series of neurophysiological activations in which the thalamus the hypothalamus, the limbic system and the cerebral cortex are involved significantly. Individuals with extensive injury in these areas of the brain have been known to demonstrate impaired emotional abilities. Selective attention of different areas has been experimentally shown to arouse different emotions in infants and adults. One of the earliest physiological theories of emotions was given by James in 1884 and supported by Lang. Hence, it is named the James Lang theory of emotions. This theory suggests that environmental stimuli elicit physiological responses from internal organs like the heart and lung, which in turn are associated with muscle movement. For example, startling at an unexpected intense noise triggers activation in visceral and muscular organs followed by an emotional arousal. To put it in other words, the James Lang theory argues that your perception about your bodily changes like rapid breathing, a pounding heart and shaking legs following an event brings forth emotional arousal. The main implication made by this theory is that particular events or stimuli provoke particular physiological changes and the individual's perception of these results in the emotion being experienced. According to the James Lang theory, witnessing an external event leads to a physiological response. For example, suppose you are walking in the woods and you see a grizzly bear. You begin to tremble and your heart begins to race. The James Lang theory proposes that you will interpret your physical reactions and conclude that you are frightened. 
I am trembling, therefore I am afraid. However, this theory faced a lot of criticism and fell in disuse over time. So, to recap, the James Lang theory states that when we witness an external stimulus, it leads to a physiological response and the interpretation of that physical response helps us to conclude what emotion we are feeling. So that's it for today's video. If you are looking for quality mental health resources, please check out my Etsy shop. The link is provided in the description box below. If you like the content of this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. And please press the bell icon so you are notified when the next video comes out. As always, thanks for watching.